So let's go ahead and create this list. We've done this. This is a Power App that we've generated from this spreadsheet. We've just gone here, Power App, see other videos. And it's created this and it looks great. Everything's working fine. It's taking the data from here. It's feeding new data in. Everything is as it's supposed to work. Although when I look inside of my Power App, I want to be able to sort it. So what the heck's going on here? I've got a 719, 717, 720. So let's figure out how to sort by the date itself. So stay tuned, we'll jump right to that. Alrighty, so go ahead and just open up your form uh, excuse me, your Power App Studio, that's what this is called. And we're gonna go ahead and sort this field right here. So if you click here, notice the box is around the whole area right there, okay? If you click too tight, it'll just be around one of them. So you wanna click to where it's around the whole thing. Now, here is the filter that came by default when I sorted, when I pulled this in from my list so it went ahead and created this felt like this was the right thing to do we're going to say no so here we're just going to type in what we want to do so the thing that we want to do is we want to sort okay and so we're going to start there and then kind of it helps you right here kind of move along now the table that you want to sort is actually the name of the list right so this is the table what it's calling the table right this list here so we're just gonna go ahead and say, what do we want? We want VTC, okay? And then it's gonna ask for the expression. And so what do you want to sort on? So in this case, we wanna sort on the start date, right here, start date time is what the field's called. And again, if I didn't know what that was, I'd go over to my list, start date time. That's what I wanna do, all right? And now it's just gonna ask us for, pretty simple so far, right? It's just going to ask us how we want to see that data. We want to see it ascending. All right. And then we're going to close off with a parenthesis. And we're going to hit, whoops. And then we're just going to click outside of it. All right. Now, when we look at it, notice here that we're sorting based on date and time. Now, let's put an entry in here at 5 p.m. on the 17th and see what happens. So we're just going to go ahead and hit play here just so we can do a quick test. We're going to add that it was on the 17th right today so we're going to hit go and we're going to add it at five o'clock and the same thing we're going to hit okay and we're going to add it at five o'clock but let's make it just 507 okay and test meeting okay and test notes and then we're going to assign this of course to joe snuffy all right joke snuffy joe snuffy we're going to hit okay now, now we see that meeting exactly where it was supposed to line up. Notice here, if we go over here, we can see that test meeting right here. But when it comes to our app, remember this is what we changed, this sort thing. Notice here that it put the four o'clock appointment here and the five o'clock appointment here. If I want details to that meeting, I can just click on that meeting and it'll take me right in to show me the start time, the stop time, the meeting name, the notes, whether it's in the CC room and who is assigned to it. Very simple. I can access all of this from my phone. Additionally, I can go ahead and type in just specific information that I want and find it. Oh, so the search feature isn't working. So see the next video and we'll go over how to set up the search feature to work within Power Apps.